Unlock seven hidden Excel features you probably missed that will make navigating and organizing your workbooks much easier. Let's jump in. First one, instant workbook navigation. Unlock navigation feature, which works like a built-in table of contents. Suppose your file has a lot of different tabs, as you can see down here. Navigating across them can get messy. Wouldn't it be nice to have a table of contents on the side? Well, you can. Just go to View and click on Navigation. This opens a panel that shows all your sheets and objects right on the side. Left-click and drag to unlock it. Now you can move it. The best part? They're hyperlinks. So if I click on Inventory, Excel jumps right there. If I click on Sheet 1, it takes me back. You can even rename sheets directly from here by right-clicking and choosing Rename. And it doesn't stop there. You can also navigate to specific parts inside a sheet, like a table or a chart, just by clicking on it. This is the fastest way to hop around a big workbook without losing your place. Next, trick two, quick jump Excel bookmarks. Excel doesn't have a built-in bookmark feature. I wish it did, but there's a cool trick you can use to get the same results. This is especially useful for larger workbooks with lots of different tabs. Let's say you frequently need to jump to specific places in your file. For example, you often come to the inventory and need to scroll all the way down to some important section supplier information. Every time you open the workbook, you land somewhere else. Then you have to scroll, search for the tab, and find the right spot again. You don't have to do this if you create a bookmark for that exact location. How do you do that? Use the little box you see every day, but might not use the name box. Just select your cell, go to the name box, and type in a name for your bookmark. For example, we'll call it Book Report. Remember, no spaces are allowed. Then press Enter. It's helpful to use a naming convention so your bookmarks are easy to recognize, especially since the name box also lists tables and other names you may have created. Now we have a bookmark for this cell. What does that mean? It means you can be anywhere in your workbook and quickly jump back. Just open the dropdown in the name box and select your bookmark. Instantly, Excel takes you to that location. or simply type the name and press Enter. This is a clever way of turning the name box into a bookmark tool. And if you ever want to delete a bookmark, just go to Formulas, and then Name Manager, find your bookmark, and delete it. It's a super simple way to navigate huge workbooks instantly, like creating your own teleport buttons in Excel. Next, Trick 3 Clipboard Magic office clipboard. First up is a hidden gem most people have never used, the office clipboard. Here's our orders list. Normally, if we can copy one ID with Control plus C and paste with Control plus V, it works fine. If we want to grab multiple values from different rows, for example, one here, another further down, and a few more, and we try holding Control to select them and copy, it gives an error because multiple selections aren't supported. I'd have to keep copying and pasting one at a time. That's slow. Instead, here's the trick. On the Home tab, in the Clipboard group, click the little Clipboard Launcher. Tiny arrow in the bottom right corner. Clear it first so we start fresh. Now, every time I hit Control plus C, the copied value gets stored here, and it remembers up to 24 items. Let's copy the one order ID, then another, customer name, and more. That's five items sitting in the clipboard. Now I can go anywhere in my workbook, click Paste All, and boom, all five values appear in one go. When you're done, just hit Clear All and close the clipboard pane. And by the way, if you want to try this with the exact data set I'm using, there's a download link in the video description. Next, 
Trick four, pattern fill with right click drag. You probably know this one. If you type one, two, three, and drag the fill handle down, Excel keeps the sequence going. Same with custom patterns. Type three, five, and it figures out you mean add two each time. But here's the hidden upgrade. Instead of left dragging the fill handle like usual, right click and drag. When you release, Excel gives you a special menu. Fill days, weekdays, months, years, even more options. Try fill years. Suddenly, it jumps 2025, 2026, 2027, and so on, without you typing a single extra digit. Right-click plus drag equals a whole extra toolbox for filling patterns weekdays, months, exactly the way you want. Next, trick five, quick filter trick. Here's a quick way to filter data instantly. Let's say we have a data set with a column for state, and we want to filter only the records for Texas. Now, the usual way is, select a cell, go to the data tab, apply a filter, then choose California from the dropdown. But there's a much faster way. Simply select the cell with Texas, right-click, go to filter, and choose filter by selected cell's value. Instantly, Excel filters the entire data set to only show Texas. Even better, if you need this often, you can add it to the quick access toolbar. Here's how. Press Ctrl plus Z to remove the filter. Go to the Quick Access Toolbar at the very top of Excel. Click Customize Quick Access Toolbar, then More Commands. In the dialog box, change the drop-down to All Commands. Scroll down and look for Auto Filter. Select it. Click Add, then OK. Now you'll see a new icon in your Quick Access Toolbar. Important note, this is different from the regular filter button in Excel. That one only applies the filter dropdowns. But this auto filter command actually filters your data based on the selected cell. For example, if I select California and click the new icon, Excel instantly filters to show only California records. With just one click, you can filter your data set. Super handy if you do this a lot. Next, trick six, sort left to right. Most of the time when we sort in Excel, we're sorting in columns from top to bottom. But Excel also has the option to sort in rows, left to right. And this can be really useful. For example, here I have some data arranged across rows, and I want to sort it based on the sales value. My goal is to have the highest sales on the left. Then as I move right, the sales values go down. Here's how to do it. First, select your data range. Make sure you don't include the header in column A. We want that header to stay fixed. Go to the Data tab and click Sort. The Sort dialog box opens. Here, click on the Options button. By default, the orientation is Sort Top to Bottom. Change it to Sort Left to Right. Click OK. Now, choose the row you want to sort by. In this case, I'll choose row nine, sales. For order, select largest to smallest. Click OK, and now the row is sorted. The largest sales value appears on the left, and the numbers decrease as you move right. But it gets better. You can also do multi-level sorting left to right. For example, first, I want all the regions sorted in order, east, then north, south, west, then, within each region, I want the sales values sorted in descending order. To do this, again, select the data and open the Sort dialog box. Make sure Sort left to right is selected under Options. For the first level, sort by row 7, Regions, A to Z. Add another level, this time sort by row 9, Sales, Largest to Smallest. Click OK. Now Excel first organizes the regions alphabetically, and within each region, it sorts the sales from largest to smallest. This is a really powerful but often overlooked feature, especially if your data is structured horizontally across rows instead of in columns.
Next, trick seven, custom sort criteria. Excel doesn't limit you to just A to Z or Z to A sorting. You can actually create your own custom sort order. For example, here I have data with name, region, and sales. I want to sort by region, but not alphabetically. Instead, I want all the records for north, then south, then east, and finally west. Here's how to do it. Select your data set. Go to the Data tab and click on Sort. In the Sort dialog, check My Data Has Headers. Under Sort By, choose Region. Under Order, choose Custom List. This opens the Custom Lists dialog box. You'll see some pre-built lists, like days of the week or months, but you can add your own. So, I type in North, South, East, West. Then click Add, and it saves as a custom list. Now I select it, hit OK, North, South, East, West. Notice it even gives me both directions, West, East, South, North, or the reverse. And Excel sorts the data exactly in the order I specified. You can also import a custom list directly from cells in your worksheet. Here's how. Go to the File tab, Options, Advanced. Scroll to the General section and click Edit Custom Lists. In this dialog, you'll now see an option to import. Just select the range in your sheet that has your list, then click Import, and it will be added to your custom lists. So, whether it's regions, departments, or priority levels, you can sort your data in exactly the order you want, not just alphabetically. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.